can see there was a drop over here. I can't see it from this angle because of the hill, but I am going to cautiously <laughs> go over here because you can see someone. It looks like they're on the bridge there. I'm not sure what's going on. Let's go see. There's a level 5 911 desert flyer, but the, it looks like this car is going over there to get it. As I get closer, I can see they're on the wrong side of this rail. You can hear they were honking, trying to engage in a head-to-head, -head, but for whatever reason, it didn't take. And now I have this level 5 right in front of them. And I'm going to go over here. They're chasing me. I actually think the Audi S1 is faster, but the Porsche actually is pretty quick off road. It, well, it's a rally bit. So I turn around on them <laughs> and they're heading away. I'm heading toward where a head to head would lead. And they made a, they made a mistake chasing me, not thinking I'm sure that I was going to turn around on them like that. So off we go. strip and get out of a location where I could be possibly caught as I'm leveling up in a head-to-head. -head. And right after I got into this exoset there was a level 1 VW Beetle nearby so I engaged in the head-to-head -head with them and shouldn't have a problem getting into a level 7. So let's zigzag through these <laughs> greenhouses and through the trees <laughs> to grandmother's house we go. Ah, great Mercedes-Benz AMG GT4. This is, I think, my favorite level 7 vehicle. It has near level 10 speeds on the expressway. So let's uh, head over here toward the pyramid strip and take a peek at these drops along the way. It seems as though mini buggy, mini buggy, mini buggy. I don't think I've ever seen that. All duds. So I hung out here for a while, let my vehicle go opaque on the mini-map, and here comes someone. They're going to look at these drops, and off we go. We're in a head-to-head. -head. I knew this head-to-head -head was going to lead toward Horizon Street scene, so I will go up this pyramid strip, and on the left side of this pyramid over here is a gap that I'll go through, and then I'll veer over to the right, shouldn't have problem leveling up here. All right, the RJ Anderson Pro 2 truck, I'll take it with hopes of getting into another head-to-head, -head, getting into something faster. Actually, what I was in was faster than this, but that's okay. This is a good off-road vehicle. We're off-road, so let's uh, go head away from where all the head-to-heads are going and circle back around here and see if I can catch someone. Come over here, taking a peek at this drop. I parked so my vehicle went opaque on the mini-map, which meant I wasn't visible, and here comes someone. Winds up being a level 6 Porsche, a rally vehicle. It's actually a pretty good vehicle off-road. It may be quicker than this or closely matched, so I have to try and minimally turn to try and maintain as much speed as possible and get through here without hitting anything.
Well, fortunately, the finish was prior to me running into that tree, so I wasn't sure actually when it happened. <laughs> so, all right, we're getting into this Ford Fiesta Level 9, great off-road vehicle. Here's some cars over here, so let's get into a head-to-head. -head. What do we have? It is an aerial nomad. Okay, so I should be able to beat this. Let's get through this area without hitting anything. Up on the side of this building. Don't run into it. That was, that was close to flipping over and throwing it away, but managed to scoot through there. They, they might have flipped or ran into something because they stopped. Alright, great. A Ford Rocky. Level 10. And you know what? I'm going to just hang on to this and use this in the final showdown. Let's go over here on the perimeter of this current arena. Let my vehicle go opaque on the mini-map. You know what? What do we have here? Let's change in plans. Take out maybe one more vehicle. Come on, here we go, there we go, okay, Chevy Camaro, and they're not very good off-road, so he's probably spinning his wheels a bit, so I shouldn't have a problem taking out that Chevy Camaro as a competitor in the final showdown. Nope, not a problem, and I'll decline taking the Lamborghini Centenario, I think, is what it'll offer and stay in this Ford Brocky. Yeah, that's what it wants me to take or offers. So I'm going to circle back around and get in position for the final showdown. The arena is shrinking and there isn't enough time for a head-to-head -head in case someone comes along and has some thoughts of Engaging in the head-to-head -head and right at this bend in the road next to this sign. That's where I like to be. So this is the green circle, Arena 2. The range of time to leave is 19 to 22 seconds. 19 being the fastest accelerating vehicle, which is what I'm in, the Ford Brocky. Head to heads complete. Get ready for the final showdown. Final showdown begins in 30 seconds. like it is north of the stadium and I'm going to slow down through this turn here and keep it on the road. To the right there some buildings in a little hill bump whatever you want to call it and the vehicle that I'm in the Brocky gets unsettled fairly easily going over bumps so let's stay on this route go close to the stadium watching out for Objects that are along the way. There's a strip of buildings on the left there. I'm in the home stretch here. There's that bridge on the right. I'll go left of that. And try and avoid these trees through here. So far, so good. Nice clean run. Fortunately, me overshooting the finish here didn't change the outcome. No one else was nearby. Congratulations! You are the Eliminator! If you've been enjoying my videos and you find them helpful, please subscribe. Just click that link on the bottom right.